Hey guys, uh, this is Wayne from Aloft Hobbies, and we are going to be uh, showing a quick video on how to update the firmware on your Tranus QX7. Uh, the brand new 7s that uh, have just recently shipped, uh, they do have some firmware issues. We do highly recommend you upgrade. And right now, as of today, today is uh, January 27th, 2017, the um, OpenTX team has released a new nightly build, um, and they should hopefully have a full release very soon. So I'm going to go over to the OpenTX website here. So it's www.opentx.org. Down here under the news section right now, we can see that there's an OpenTX 2.2 RC9, and that is uh, Release Candidate 9. Eventually, that number might climb to 10, 11, 12, whatever. Um, or if they deem this one is good to go and there's no major problems or anything, it will be go to full release for OpenTX 2.2. Once it's in open the full release, you'll be able to just go to the Downloads tab and download the current version. But for night, right now, we're on a nightly build, which is a beta. So, um, so far this is looking really good. Highly recommend you go ahead and read everything on the page here. Uh, lots of good information in there. There's some files you can download if you have an SD card, and that will give you voices and loud scripts and all kinds of good stuff. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is scroll down here, and we are going to click on the Windows installer. Uh, I am running on a Windows station here today. Um, they also have a Mac OS uh, ready to go, so that's great to see. So here we go. Windows installer, we'll download it. Yeah, it's going to take a little while, and we'll probably edit this out of the video. So we'll wait for now. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Turn the radio on while we're waiting, and we're going to put it into bootloader mode. So we're going to take the two trims and push them towards the center. So this one this way, that one that way. And with the third finger, just go ahead and click the power button, and you'll see that we come into this special menu here where we can do different things. So this is now ready to be plugged in to our USB cable. So we have finished our download, and we can go ahead and run our installer and agree to all kinds of lovely things and install. Boom. So that's going to take a second. And next, and open. Boom, we get our new 2.2 installer. Yay! Okay. So at this point, we would like to check some settings. So we're going to check on the sprocket menu up here. That's our settings. And we want to make sure this pull down is for Tranus X7. Uh, you don't want any other version of the Tranus for this one. And we can set a few things here. I like to have the SQT5 font. Just looks a little bit nicer. We want the Lao script turned on. Uh, so sooner or later we will use that. And I'm going to turn off mass storage. Um, eh, you know what, I'm going to leave that on because I kind of like it. If you want to use your radio so it just, when you plug in a USB cable, it is in joystick mode for use with a simulator, you will want to have mass storage turned off. But I kind of like using the mass storage. Plugs in, gives me quick access to the SD card. Uh, I tend to use that more. Don't use a whole lot of simulators myself. All right, um, then we're gonna go into uh, application settings. And there's a setting right here that says, use OpenTX firmware nightly builds. We wanna make sure we turn that on for right now uh, because the, uh, we are using the nightly build currently. Uh, once OpenTX is fully released, you will not want to have that set. Um, we can look around some other things. There's some other stuff you can set here. But we're good to go. We're mode two. Our ETA is fine. We're good to go. Boom. At this point, we're going to come up here to the arrow download button. And we're going to click that. And this is where it actually is going to download the, uh, the correct firmware for us. So there we go. She's going to ask us to save it somewhere. I'm just going to put it down to my desktop for now. Simple and easy. Boom. 
Okay, now it says download it. You want to write it to the radio? Yes, I do. So I'm going to take my radio. I'm going to open the little compartment on the bottom and plug our USB cable in to the bottom there. Nothing else. We're still in that bootloader mode. Boop. And our computer has beeped and changed screens and things because it recognizes the USB. And it says USB connected. Uh, this is where maybe some people are going to get into problems. If you have a Windows computer, sometimes they don't read USB correctly. So that might be a lot of fun. Um, going to jump back over here to companion. And I'm going to say, yes, I want to write this to the radio. It's going to come up with a couple options. I'm just going to say, go to town. Bada bing. We're going to wait for her to confirm that she's written the firmware. Firmware flashing done. And we can close that. And at this point, I'm going to come down to the bottom right corner of my screen. And I'm going to safely remove hardware and eject. And I'm going to eject the FreeSky Tyrannus bootloader. It says it's safe to remove. I can now unplug my cable. And I can go to exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Looky there. That was it. We are done. We are on the latest and greatest version. Yep. Dated today. So that was it for firmware upgrade, guys. Um, wasn't quite in the screen there. Um, we are all ready to go. Uh, in this radio, we have already set up an SD card uh, with the proper file structures. Um, that's why she's talking to us. So highly recommend doing that. Uh, we, in fact, we'll probably have some available on our site very soon, preloaded if you want. Um, doesn't need anything special for an SD card. Um, doesn't need to be class 10. Doesn't need to be very big. If you've got an old one gigabyte micro SD card sitting around, that will do just fine. Plenty of storage. All right, guys. Hope this helps you. That's it. Thank you much.